Let's talk about pack animals. Hello everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and this is a video about the Crossfire uh, mule thing here. So if you are not familiar with this, um, this is the, I guess now old, Crossfire DG3 Ruck, and it's built on this DG3 frame. Uh, I say old because I don't think they offer this anymore. They now have the CF3, the Crossfire 3, and they got rid of the Molly and put some ladder webbing on that they have their own custom pouches to, and, and whatever, that, that's a whole different deal, okay? Point being that uh, I think on, the, on the, the new one, the frame is still the same, and I, they know that they still offer this, this mule. And so the way this is supposed to work is you can remove this actual pack, right? The pack itself, this part, well that's the lid, but you get my point, the pack, right? From the frame. And then this can be attached to the frame. And the way this sits on the frame, imagine the frame is right here, okay? Is like this. This has a bunch of uh, straps that, that attach to the frame. So you can carry something here. Uh, you can, you have other straps here. You have Molly back here, so that you can strap in objects here. You also have straps on the bottom, right? So you can put in like a massive bedroll or I don't I mean, anything that you can fit with the, between these two straps, right? And they got a lot of adjustment and room to them. Um, and so I got this, I got this on sale, I think for like 20 bucks. Um, I think they usually go for, for a hundred. And uh, I used it, I got a chance to, to use it. And so I took my pack off and I, I attached it um, back here. I made a short about this a while ago about getting this attached, not being sure I was gonna be able to get it off. I did finally get it off. Uh, we're gonna talk about that. So I think that as a concept, this is really cool, right? It's very much like the old uh, Alice packs, right? Where you have the Alice pack, but you can get that shelf for the Alice pack, right? So you can like stack, you know, a jerry can or some ammo cans or, you know, odd sized shaped things that really wouldn't, wouldn't fit in a pack. And this is a much, much better version of that, right? They kind of give you a shelf. This has got like a little, uh, I don't know, plastic stiffener in here or something like that, right? So this, this sits kind of like a shelf. And like I said, this is your back and you can, anything you can fit in here, you can fit in here. And if I still have the picture, I'll throw it up here. But I fit to like steel, uh, C-sized C shape uh, steel, little shooting steel in here. Um, I also had the, um, the supports for like the legs that went in here. And I think I also had like five foot uh, two by fours that I also put in here. So it was probably like, I don't know, over 60 pounds ish of like steel and wood that I had in here. Cause I had to carry these targets out and do a field uh, in order to, uh, to shoot them. And uh, wh where I was going, I couldn't drive right up to it. Right. Blah, blah, blah. Point being, I had to, I had to hump them. I had to carry them out. So, I used this. I thought, oh, this would be a perfect application. And it did, it worked great. I'm a big fan of, like I said, the idea of this I think is really cool. The big problem that I have is that these tabs here, so the way this works is there's six of these, uh, three on each side here, and these fit through the frame. And then with that little tab there, that locks it into place, right? Which again, totally fine concept. The problem is on the frame, they, they sewed these a bit too wide and a bit too thick. And getting them in there is a little bit of a struggle. Getting them out uh, was, was more of a struggle. I mean, it didn't go as bad as I thought, I'll be honest. But it was not quick, it was not easy. I probably sat uh, on my, my recliner chair for like 20 or 30 minutes-ish. Uh, struggling to get it off. Now it was my very first time I did it ever. My second time probably go easier because I realized you need to get a butter knife and like shove it through as much as you can as then grab a pliers on the other side and rip it out. Um, and that, that's, that seemed to be the best system I came up with. But it's just not easy to, to put on and off. If, if it was, it'd be a really cool system because it'd take you a couple minutes to swap in and out. You can use it. But you know, the way this goes, and I don't know if uh, any of these are gonna show any, but like I was afraid that at points I could only had a little bit to grab with my pliers, right? To rip it out. And I was, I was getting a little bit of fraying. And I'm thinking, well, if I have to do this, you know, 10 times, 20 times, whatever, or if I'm, you know, if I'm gonna use it a lot, I'm afraid I'm gonna fray these ends a little bit. And I mean, this is nylon webbing. 
that's folded on and over itself and sewed together to make this little this little tab here, right? That that locks it into place. Uh, and again, good idea. Um, great concept. I just want to know if anybody at Crossfire, if you actually tried to fit, to fit this through the frame, the DG3 frame, uh, because it it just doesn't fit well. Now on the actual pack itself, they do have a pretty good attachment system here. So what they have here, uh, hopefully you should be able to see that, right? They have here is this little uh, loop that comes through the frame, and then again uses that tab to latch back onto itself on the on the pack. If they would have just made that on the mule, we'd have no problems. They already have a good system. Okay, this is a this is a great system. This is really well done. Why can't I just get this attachment on the mule? Like that 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 would be that would be cool, right? Because then um, I could I could have this and, and it could loop in and but instead I get this weird like whatever's going on here, uh, tab that's just supposed to fit through and then lock in. But this is too, it's a little bit too wide and this is too thick. That's, that's where the main issues come in. And I would show it to you, but I don't want to torture myself like that to, to try to force it in this frame again and do lots of swearing and, and bad things. So that, that's my main issue. Um, other than that, really well designed, really cool, great concept. I love the Molly. I love all the I mean, like, look at this on the back here, even. Oh, this one's come undone. But they have uh, um, straps here in the back. So you could stuff, theoretically, you could stuff something here in this big, you know, pocket but between the, the pack. Because remember, your packs or your frames right here and the, and the mule. You could stuff something on the back. You could molly something in. And you could attach something on the bottom right here as well, right? So I mean, you could really load this out. It's really cool. It gives you a lot of different options to carry weird shaped stuff. And I think it's cool. I'm glad I have it. But man, I don't know if I want to use it again. You know, just getting it on and off the pack is such a struggle and it's such a high cost that I have to pay. That it just, it, I just I, again, I don't know if it's worth it. If it's worth the 20 or 30 minutes of struggling to get it on there. You know, so that's that's my I don't know about gripe or complaint or I don't I don't really know what I would what I would call that, but that's my that's my issue that I'm having here uh, with this with this mule is that it just doesn't um, it's not easy to get on off the, the damn frame. So that's my thought. I don't know if you have the DG mule. If you're thinking, oh, should I get the DG mule? You know, let let this guide you again. If you have weird shaped stuff to carry often, or you want that capability or whatever, I'm going to tell you right now, this is going to work. You're going to carry the weird shaped stuff. It carries pretty heavy. Sorry, ripped my microphone there off on accident. Um, it does keep using the uh, DG three like uh, yoke system or whatever, the shoulder straps, right? And, and the waist belt, like you can still use all that stuff. So again, that's really cool. And, and that's why part of the reason it's super comfortable. It's, it uses the frame obviously, cause that's what everything attaches to. Like, and, and that's what makes it really usable and, and cool, helpful, wonderful, whatever. But like I said, just the getting on and off is the real problem. So I'm starting to repeat myself. That's all the information. I hope that's helpful. Let me know if you have experience or thoughts on the Crossfire Mule. Do brave deeds and endure.